the time has come. In today's video, we are going to be lowering the pickup. I've got Sam here, all the way from Morecambe, which, how far away is that from here? Oh, uh, over 300 miles. 300 miles, the man is dedicated. Now, what have we got here? We've got, got the adjustable coilovers that Kieran sent us, donated. There's a little insignia there. We've got the drop plates from Retrofication which I had to get sent to Sam because they apparently don't send to the Isle of Wight. And you were just telling me about these bolts, which I didn't know about, Sam. Yeah, so they're a slightly better grade than standard bolts you get from a hardware store and stuff like that. So, retrofication, actually sending you good quality stuff because that's all they sell is, well, from what I've seen, good quality things, so. Yeah. It's good that. I didn't know that about the grade of the bolts. Yeah, well that's it. They've got to hold a, basically, what, a ton of weight on the back, or a ton of weight across the whole thing. Mm. And, um, yeah, they need to be strong because they're not, they're not very large, so. Yeah. Obviously, you remember, you guys remember Sam, you remember that caddy over there. I'll put a video link somewhere here, you can check that out. But yeah, I'm so excited. So, we've got, what, two days to crack on with some bits and bobs? Yep. And just enjoy, just a chilled, just a chilled couple of days. So we're gonna do the front first, adjustable coilovers, just in case the, the rear doesn't work out as planned. We can always adjust the front, so yeah, let's do this. This area here? Yeah. Beautiful. And there's one further below as well? Here as well. Just to no, get down. Oh, there as well, yep. Yeah. Because that was stiff. And then there's a, the one underneath. There we go. That should do us nicely. Yeah. And then up here? Uh, yeah, why not? Here? No, just that one. Oh, we're doing these two, yeah, are we? Yeah, them two. Oh, wait. Yeah, do the middle. Yeah, do the middle. All right. Just in case. Good stuff. Oh, I love that smell. <laughs> It's surprising like the amount of things on this truck that are loose or not as tight as they should be. Yeah. Oh. So nothing can surprise me right now. That's so easy. Mate, I, I need one of those ratchets or spanners. What, yeah, yeah. What, what are they? They're like... Just the Halfords Advanced Ratchet Set. I need... Yeah, it's good. They're, they're good. Yeah. yeah. That just comes off so well. Excellent. Oh, yeah, you've got your camber bolt here. I'll try and get off. Wow, the bolt is in such good condition. Is it? Yeah, it's really good. Oh, again, I should say, oh, this is... Camber, I'm sure people watching this know that I'm, you know, fairly new to yeah. everything. They know that everything that I'm going through on this channel is, like, for the first time. Yeah. And I'm not going to let you do all of it. I want to I no, get hands on as well. Um, and perhaps I'll do all of the other side. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Yeah, so the top one is just the camber. Yeah. We're not going to be too fussed about camber because this isn't a 120 mile an hour, 150 mile an hour car, is it? <laughs> just pottering around the Isle of Wight doing 30, 40 mile an hour. So if that, we'll, yeah. We'll get the camber, <laughs> try and get the camber the same as before. But otherwise, if you feel like you want to take it to an alignment shop, then do that. All oh, right. But the bottom one doesn't really matter. So just take it off. And I'll put, yeah, that just push it out. There we go. That's in really good condition. Is it? Yeah. Mine's. Mine was wrecked. So this one. Oh wow, so there we go. Right, so I'll get the brake line off before I just rip it off. Oh, this camber bolt. What are those hammers called? I swear those ones have got a special name. Lump hammer. Lump hammer, yeah. This is like a medium to small sized one, but I didn't want to bring my big silly one in case you know, I'll break something, so there we go. So I can't tell you exactly how these work because it's all the alignment stuff, but you can see on these they've got that bit cut out so when you put that bolt in and that's 
shaped that way, just the camber somehow. So the way you, you'll put it in like that, you don't want to turn it that way because that adjusts the camber. We just want to put it in the same way it was when we took it out, which is that way. Yeah. And that one adjusts, I think that was like, yeah, that on that side. And if you had it like the other way around, it'll give you positive or negative camber, but I can't. I can't tell you too much because I'll be wrong and all the YouTube people will correct me and I don't do that. <laughs> oh, we're internet bullied. So, um, internet bullied. There we are. So that's like that and now well, it's already off. So that was really quick. Oh wow. I'm a bit jealous. Now we'll just take off the top ones which should be 13 mil. By the way guys, if you're looking here and you're like, what the fuck, where's this gone? Don't worry. Trust the process. We're in the middle of something. It's all good. Not been off in a long time. <laughs> if they've been off, it'll keep us cool. I know. I just, I did think that. Drizzle. It won't last long. And that's what she said. <laughs> right. Back the other way. What did you just do there? Did you like tighten it and then loosen it? Yeah. So when you're, if you ever cleaning up a thread, you'll see that when. When you're trying to re-tap a hole, when you go in to drill it to create the new tap, mm. um, it's best to turn back, turn on again, turn back, turn on again. You'll feel it uh, eat it away. If you just go full on, yeah, it'll just wreck your tap, and then you'll have a bad time. Oh, jeez! All right, so I'll hold this because it's going to drop. Oh my god! Do you need me? No, we're there. I feel it. Oh, there we are. Nice. Ooh. She's heavy. My knee just cracked. There you go. Amazing. Thanks, Kieran. <laughs> I think those were from his caddy. Remember when we went to the um Peak District and we did the caddy camping and he, he rocked up. I'm pretty sure, and maybe he can correct us in the comments, pretty sure they're off of his caddy. Well, you can actually see that's deformed up a bit. So over time, that's that's pushed out. And that's what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to be a bit more flush. Oh, right. Yeah, so it's just what happens. Crikey. And where's this one from? Uh, I can't remember where I bought it from, but it's a Febby Bill Stein, Bill Stein. Febby. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, the best for suspension, really, in the world, I reckon. Bill Stein, yeah. Yeah. Are they. Do you know much about the Bill Stein Cup? No. Are is they that the Mark One? Yeah. I wonder, are they part of it, I wonder? Or they might have been, yeah. They sponsor? might have sponsored. They've been around for a while, but it's just what all the. Uh, all the car enthusiasts usually um, absolutely rave about is, is Febby. Mm. So. I actually have a um, Febby indicator relay in the fuse box. <laughs> yeah. It has just started to rain. Hopefully it won't be for very long and hopefully it won't dampen our day. Pun intended. We will carry on. Just as I thought. Ooh, of course it's not. Now, I've always been put off by suspension because um, I fear that something will explode and just throw me across the room or something yeah, will, do you know what I mean? Uh, there's a little uh, washer, it's quite a long washer that's inside here that uh, just sits the uh, the top mount a bit better. Like It does wobble, but it will do that even on the new one. Uh, but we just need to get it extracted from there because it doesn't come with these ones. All right, so we need to get it off. And it is a different bolt size than the ones we've got out, so I'll get the right one. Sorry, explain what we're doing. So, safety first. Um, the spring is under compression. We need to take the top nut off, so I don't think it's going to be under much compression. So you might be able to just whiz it off, but just in case it wants to fire off, we're going to aim it at your neighbour's uh, clothes dryer thing. So, Jesus. But it should have. Jesus Christ! That was a bit silly. But that's what I'm. That's what I'm scared of. That's yeah. exactly what I was telling you, man. And then, look at that little. We need that. That's what we need. That's what you needed. The side there, yeah. Jeez. The the side there. And now we can go back together. Wow. 
See that, remember when I had the UK Caddy, I literally went to another garage and said, can you yes. put these coil overs on for me? Cause I just inexperienced and I don't want to like get an eye out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that one going there now. Oh well. So, because we've lowered it a bit, we've got some thread there and I can start the, almost. No, not quite, so. Um. I have no idea what company this is from, by the way. This, <laughs> I, this is just donated to me from Kieran, as many people know. Stop aiming it at my head, man. <laughs> <laughs> this was under not that much compression, so you're all right. Right, uh, where's the? So we've got to, we've got to explode the other side as well, haven't we? Yeah, I can't wait for that one. Should we do? Should we sit on it and then do it? <laughs> Get closer to Mars than Elon Musk, mate. Yeah, I mean, you can get spring compressors, but I didn't bring mine. And oh, yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, so you've, you've got a northern pike here helping you out here, so this is what, <laughs> this is what you get. This is what you get. And it's up until, yep, stops about there. I think. Yeah, it feels about right. A bit of protection on. And just ruin my jumper instead. There now. It's not, not marked or anything. It's very, very old. And also it says reps for Jesus on it. <laughs> oh wait, is that the um Yeah, I remember that guy. Mike Todd Benny, absolute amazing oh, YouTuber. <laughs> dude. So right now we can just uh, put it back on, but what we'll do is is we'll um heighten them up as, as sort of as much as we can by hand and then put them on the truck mm. and then uh, heighten them up a bit more. So shall do this for a bit. See like I said man, every time I go to film We've got planes flying overhead. There's someone cutting their grass or something over there. But we're out here doing it. And we've got no more rain. No more rain, the sun is shining. We've got pizza on the menu tonight. I so, ain't going last night. So can't really? Wait, can't wait for my second one. There's a medium though, like, who gets a medium? A medium. <laughs> Obviously there's going to be people saying like, oh, you need to do it like this, you need to do it like that and have what they call the strut risers in America, but they call them something else here. But like you've got them on... Extended top mounts, I call them. Extended top mounts. In the future, I'd love to do that. I'd love to have like the, the extended strut risers or whatever the fuck they're called. And um, you can also, when we do the back, there's also the, um, again, I don't know what it's called. The uh, sort of like the thing that compresses the yellow thing. You know the thing that goes up and down. The dampers. Right. If that's what they're called, the dampers. Yeah, I've got. <laughs> you can get shorter ones, can't you? Yes. So, so if you're not if you're doing an axle flip, you should get shorter dampers. But whereas with yours, I'm not doing an axle flip. Yeah. The dampers um, can stay at their standard length, whereas the shorter ones are yeah. shorter because the axle is closer and. Yada yada yada, but this is just a different method. And yeah, kind of a cheaper way to do it as well. Yeah, no welding, which is good. Well, I guess if you guys didn't know already, I'm broke as fuck. As you can see, these parts have been donated to me, and um, obviously, I've I would have loved to have um, got the uh, bombs away drop plates from Black Forest Industries, but they're like three hundred and fifty, no, two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, they're a lot of it. Look smart. They look great with the three but, different height levels and stuff. Yeah. But with the ones with retrofication are just literally one height. Fifty quid as well, which is brilliant. Exactly. Fifty UK pounds. I mean maybe one day when I'm rich and you know, got the money to spend and splurge on setups and stuff, but right now this suits my current situation, so before commenting saying, Oh you should have done it this way, you should have got this and that, it's like know my situation i'm not rich i've not got loads of money i'm on a budget and we're just we're just having fun we're just we are lowering by any means necessary yeah well we're not going to cut springs or anything like that no but, we're uh, not going to like get loads of girlfriends that are really large or boyfriends <laughs> if you're into that and just put them in the back all the time or <laughs> you know we're just gonna do it right you know what i have thought about though like this this summer is perhaps putting like a paddling pool in the back Oh yeah, I do want to do that at a show. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, you need friends to put in the back. This is I so. Don't have any? This is so true. <laughs> this is so true. You live so far away as well. Like if you lived here, or if I lived near you, yeah. But oh, um, our girlfriends would never see us, unfortunately. We'd just be here doing yeah, yeah. stupid stuff all the time. Proper. Right. So now, 
that's an okay ride height. The spring is uh, compressed, it's not going to explode, don't worry. Thank you. It fuck. shouldn't. Um, oh, look, it's Adam. A wild Adam has appeared. <laughs> <laughs> Fixed it. <laughs> How are you, alright? We're doing stuff. Don't worry, I'm going to do the other side. Is that an American thing? That's from Kieran. Uh, yeah, I don't know what brand those are. I've right, never seen one with an adjuster at the bottom before. No. I've never had coil lovers that do that, but yeah, I've seen them on YouTube videos and stuff. But... <laughs> oh, that would have been legend. <laughs> 30 cable ties, which was gold mine. We were yeah, just chatting about that. I've actually done that. Cool. Talk to spec, of course. Tight and then half a turn more, yeah? Yeah, just, just that little nudge. <laughs> Signia. Insignia. Oh, that went in like a charm. Put the bolts on the right way. That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit late, but... Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get the top one back where it was. Finished watching the Love Bug last night. Cracks me up. I haven't seen it for years. Just the the, sh the Disney of it is just ridiculous. Yeah. Talk to Speck, of course. Ooh -hoo. That's it. That's it. So what we'll do is. Once we've got the back done, and we've got the well, we've got the fronts on. When we do the back, we'll see how low the back is, and then we'll jack this front back up and we'll adjust it to the correct height. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, it's the best way of doing it. Or you just guess, but that's my approximation. We'll go with that. Sweet. Low down as it can go. Yes. Oh, oh right, yeah. You can meet, and you can keep the chrome or put that on. Nice. Shiny. I was going to say, look, we need to do a little. Spot yeah. weld or something like that. Plug it up. Bit of little filler. Nice. Right. Are you going to do the other side now? Yes, mate. It's not just you doing it. I'm going to now do. I'm doing a copy and paste on the other side. Hey, there's no rest, you're going straight into it, look. Dry eyes. The back didn't even slow down. This isn't your first rodeo, is it? <laughs> oh, you fucker. Make that sun is lush, it's creating a nice little flare. Little light flare. It smells of like gas under here. <laughs> so it smells like Bombay bad boy pot noodles in here. <laughs> I don't know what this spilt over the van who ever had it before. A bit. Right, lovely, <laughs> lovely. lovely. That's the most British, like southern, I've heard you say yeah. that. <laughs> what do you say about the bushes? They look different to what I've just done on my caddy because you also have like they stick out here and they don't on mine, they just press in like a little bit sticks out and that's it. But You've also got a broken exhaust bush hanger thing in my bob. You know what I need to do under here is I need to throw up some like... What's that like stuff that you can... <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I've got an injury now. What the fuck happened? I just pulled it off and I stabbed myself into that. Oh mate, be careful. Uh, some under seal or some sort. Yeah, yeah. I just see Win Winfred doing his uh, trailer with like all of the stuff that you put in here. What's it called, what's it called, what's it called? You know, you, you spray it. You just made it. me forget it. I had the word in my head and you just made me forget it. Yeah, what is it? Raptor. Raptor liner. Raptor, yeah. Raptor liner. But he's just done that for underneath and I was just looking at it going. But he's able to flip his upside down. Yes. And just proper, whereas with this, I've got to get. You can put it on a spit roast, but you've got to take everything out. So. <laughs> it's surely way too heavy to, you'd have to yeah, like you say, no, take everything out. 
interior if you want to, mm. very much. And yeah, when you do it on that, you do want to do the underneath anyway, so you want to take everything off. So. Yeah. Now what do we need for tea? I should say as well, this is not by no means a how-to video. No. This is just a documentation. Yeah, of how much we can fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> right, so uh, looking at this, I need to get that cap off and then we can get the drum off and then uh, get to the bolts behind it, they're attaching it to the axle. Cool. What, so. what tools do we need? More grip or something like that? To yeah, get that that's off? what I'm thinking, but I've got some other types of grips that we'll use. Oh, you nice. beauty. Look at that, I ain't seen one of those for ages since I did yeah, my, yeah. Uh, I did the drum brakes on the caddy. I'm gonna have to get that one off as well, which is fine. I don't think I've got any spare, we're, we're not taking this off, are we? Yes. The, uh, yeah, that'll go back on. Don't tell me, it's called something, the, the clip is called something. Clip. Yeah, but <laughs> it's, it's called something, isn't it? It's, um, oh, what is it? Oh, I'm trying to think, because I had to buy some. That's gonna annoy me, I'm gonna remember in a minute. <laughs> Oh, teamwork. Team, teamwork makes the dream work. Look at that. So now we can get to those and get them off. Let's just take that off very gently. I'm having Ooh. flashbacks of when I did this. They're in good condition on your um, first and last caddy. Because mm. this is a rabbit. Borg and Beck, that's a UK brand, isn't it? Or yeah, that's why, because when I saw this on the other side, the metal didn't look rusty. These are new. These are probably been put on maybe in this country. But yeah. You can't tell by the numbers and stuff, but that's really good to me you'd have to replace them. Mm. Yeah, it's good to actually inspect the pads. What size are those? They look like 15s. <laughs> Come off okay. Every day oh. for like the past week, I've been like spraying WD-40 around the back on any anything I can see. Just be giving oh, it a nice spray. Yes! That feels so good. Flipping heck. Now, have you done this before, like doing, um, have you done drop Working plates? Working on cars? No, 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 no. <laughs> like specifically doing drop plates? No, but just looking at the design of it, it's like, oh right, it's quite simple. Mm. So, it's just one of the things you gotta, you gotta have a go at. And hopefully this vid video will help anyone out there that's like, ooh, should I do it, should I not? Mm. And just, well, just, just get stuck in. Because I've, I, obviously when I announced, well, I didn't really announce it, the, when I got the, the truck, the first question people were saying was, when are you gonna lower it? "Yeah, when are you going to lower it? When are you going to do an engine swap?" It's like fucking calm down. Like I don't need to do either, really. But uh, yeah, that's that future armor robot that's really evil, isn't it? <laughs> Got a really long nose. Um, but, yeah, like people were saying, like I was getting so many different comments. Like yeah. you should do a uh, uh, flip the axle. You yeah. should do this. You should do that. You know, and I was just like, obviously being overwhelmed and bombarded, bombarded, bombarded. with uh, with people and messages. And I just, you know, I want to do a budget way yeah. and one way that's not going to fuck up like the, um, what's the word? The functionality of the suspension. Yes, of course. I don't know what happens, but people have said like, if you do an axle flip, you have to get short and short. Right, yeah. And then when you do the axle flip, you have to weld something somewhere. I'm not too sure. Mm. Um, but you have to do something. But okay. doing doing it this way, you can do it literally in your driveway. Yeah, as, yeah. as we're proving today, you can do it in without having a garage. There's one thing we need to do here. So can you see it bring the camera around here? There's one thing uh, I think I read on Retrofication or somewhere that the brake pipe has like uh, will need to be moved out of the way so we can actually move this. So this is off, but it's held on by the brake pipe now, which we don't want to mess about with. So now the brake pipe is almost out of the way. I'll just get this more because I don't want to wreck it. The brake pipes look really good though. Really? Yeah, so. Alright, we'll get the. Uh, oh, there's a little hole in the middle. Get a drop plate. <laughs> what the? I don't think they go that way. Nope, I think they, they do go that way. Uh, might have a problem. So of course we have come into a problem that the drop plates here don't line up with these holes here. 
because the UK caddies have two holes down there for these two tapers and then four bolts that stick what, two there and two there as you can see there for those holes we put them on bolt them up and stuff and then we can move this drum up to here and of course the drum doesn't line up with these tapered holes here there's six as there would be because there'd be six holes in the back of the drum but there's only two because this is a early um, pickup and just the holes are just slightly different unfortunately mm. so yeah back to the studio back, <laughs> no back to the back to the drawing board yeah and we don't have the tools here available to do it right now of course because we just come with a Halford set and a hammer that's all you need to do this but unfortunately in this situation as we may have expected we need to uh, go back to the drawing board mm -hmm. and get it sorted so it'll fit this Of the 80s, Rhapsody, the greatest hit the day my mama made me 99 problems, why I don't look or sound like